Hi, this is introduction to Git part 2. Last time we look at how we uh, create a file as for add and add files to Git and commit. Okay, so today uh, we will look at further commands and and do something nice with Git. Okay, so before we we continue, let's look back what we've done. We can call git log, git log to show you the uh, uh, list of commits that we have committed to the uh, repository. Right. Um, when we check in file, when we uh, add files to the repository, it is not usually we we we're not gonna add every file. Basically, uh, there are some file that we should. Uh, oh, okay. Before we continue, this is the one of the most important command for Git. Git help. If you call Git help. It show you the list of command useful uh commonly used commands at bisect checkout clone commit and blah 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 and uh, you can also call git help with the command git help status oh it would launch you uh, so this uh, it launched the website right okay it and you can also call git status dash dash help it's the same thing in case you want to see all right so uh, that's the first command all right so now we we, we suppose we don't want to check in every file to to uh, to the repository what should we do when we suppose I, 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 I add a new file that would contain my password okay is uh, something okay. okay so let's save it um, password okay so that's uh, oh where did I save it uh, okay it's here now if we call git status this file would show up and you have to be careful not to check in these uh, files because uh, if, if you use, um, you know, hosting, uh, if you host the repository somewhere else, people might, might get your password and see some confidential information. Um, so you need to be careful not to add this file to the, to the status. Now, however, if we, if we leave it there, then it will show up every time and and you probably don't want to see it okay there are some other files that you don't want to check in for example uh, I, I may have some log file and then copy um, log, uh, input dot log so that's another file that I don't want to check in or may maybe uh, my editor would add more files that I don't really want to. I don't. I don't want to check it. So you can tell Git to ignore these files by uh, creating a file called let me save it, dot git ignore. So uh, the file that begins with dot in 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 Unix. We, we will will not uh, be display, but uh, this is Windows, so you you see it anyway here. You know, so you can now for in any file that you don't want to uh, want if you want git git to ignore it, you can just say here password dot text, or you can do the wildcard start at log. If you do that, when you call git status, you 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 you're not gonna see them. No, okay. So let's fix it back. See, it appear here. It may be the case that you ac accidentally add the this file. Okay, it's status. It appear here, right? So now, if if I don't wanna now, if I commit this this file will be in the staging area. It will be in the commit, even though I I put uh, star dot log here. 
it will be it still be in 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 this because you don't you you add it before you ignore it so how how can i remove it so here here's the command it say use git reset head and then input dot log now it's gone and and it's not going it it will be it's not going to be in the staging area anymore because i i put it uh, i i just remove it from the staging array with git reset head uh, and it won't show when I call git status All right. now we should add this git ignore file to the repository because now when we check out it somewhere else uh, it will be safe right? so I add it and then git commit add it dot git ignore ok All right. Okay, so that's that's what ignoring file is. Okay, so this is the file that you should list the patterns for the stuff that you would like to ignore, and these are the thing that usually you would like to ignore. Okay, so this will be a short uh, clip because next time we'll come back with something more um, interesting remember that we we say that you want you want to uh, go back in time and, and work on that so to understand that we need to understand a little bit about uh, branching model of git so so we we'll see you next time it will be uh, so this one this clip we only look at git help and git git ignore dot git ignore file thank you